Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today we are going to be playing Night in the Woods once again. So we're just going to hop right on into this part. I think this is part six and I, in this video I kind of just want to explore a little bit. So a couple of you guys have been suggesting like people that I talk to or things that I do. I also read a couple of uh, things online about this game. I feel like we aren't reaching its maximum potential so um, yeah we're we're just gonna go explore a little bit today. First off, we're gonna see who got in touch with us over the night. Um, hey, hello. I'm at work all day, just saying if you want to say hello. I am here to be hello da. Okay, so that's B. Update, the robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway, hey boyo, at work all day. Very bored, work sucks. Crap falcon, more like it. So, both B and Angus are both, not Angus, um, Greg are both there. <laughs> okay, and I hit Sharkle. So they are both at work. Um, I don't really know who I want to hang out with. Also, if you guys have watched any videos this previous week, um, well, yesterday's videos, then you'll know that I'm currently pre-recording. Oh, did Dad get rid of the stuff in here? <gasps> he didn't. Oh, Dad. I asked you to move him. He didn't get them moved. But yeah, if you watched my videos from yesterday, you guys know that I'm currently pre-recording and also have a really super bad headache at the moment. So this part isn't gonna be like really out there like my parts usually are. Um, I'm just gonna like relax and take it easy. Morning, long night, yup. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Hmm, you were scared of those things. Cried your little eyes out. It wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That is true. Adulthood is just numbers. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Aw, our mum looks like super bored. Can we hang out with mum for a bit? Is that a thing that we can do? So yeah, like I said, we're gonna explore a little bit. Um, like I said. Right. These guys are still here, so we aren't gonna explore that way. But let's not go up on the roofs. We'll go through the town. We'll listen to that girl's poetry, because I know a couple of you want me to do that. So we'll listen to what she got going on. Here she is. Hey dude. Totally, what's up Selmas? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not bleeding on your seat in junior high. Ew. Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snap thingies we used to eat in grade school. Those were really good. I'm thinking winders. Or those like yogurt covered fruit flakes. Fruit flakes were the bomb. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. <laughs> Want to hear a new poem? Nah, maybe another time or sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want right now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and nuclear squeeze. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazkoff's up there again. Oh really? He's gonna fall right off. Uh, oh, where is he? Where is Mr. Chaskoff's or whatever he's called? Is he up on the things? You're gonna make my dog anxious and she poos a lot when she's anxious. <laughs> Sorry for making your dog anxious. I mean, I'm not trying to. Oh, I wanted to... I want to get up on there, but I don't know how. <sighs> well, we'll go up this way because I know there is a way to get up this way, so we'll do this. Uh, which letterbox did we stand on? I can't even remember what letterbox we stood on. Oh, is the one over here? It was this one. There we go. And up again. And up again. Up again. Let's go see if he is really up here. Oh, what can we view up here? When the flood happened that one year, this pole fell over. 
and I was scared it'd somehow electrify water all over the neighbourhood and it'd stay that way and I was kind of afraid of taking a shower or turning on the faucet for weeks. <laughs> You're so odd, May. I freaking love her. She's such a weirdo but in like the best way possible. Oh, he- someone is up here. Oh my goodness. Hello mister, how do we get up there? Arnold Applebaum owned the mining company like a thousand years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions, but we did get a library that got turned into apartments. How do we get up there? Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, balls. We could have got on there. No, why won't you jump onto that one next to you? Don't make me shout, I have a headache, man. That's just mean. Okay, there we go. There we go. Mate Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm going to call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. Uh, what's dusk stars? Stars. Wandering stars are the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? It is a trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight, only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Wanna have a look? Yeah. Excellent. Yay! We just spent like- holy crap my eyes. We just spent like half an hour. Oh, you want to put a filter on? Jeez. The sun is bright, makes you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. There's a star. Oh, this is pretty, man. Oh, we reached the top of the telescope. <gasps> Found one, found one, found one! <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh, by the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all gonna be bummers, huh? That's not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why, and the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those who labours even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one. Are they obsolete? No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. The stars, they make one think. Is. is it you? No. It's you. Boom! Found one! Let's see. Ah yes! Simone the fighter. She got a gun. <laughs> Simone lived in a good land, but under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic. Thanks, I was just reading the summary off my phone. Oh, we may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up, as whispers of her grew throughout the land. More and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. That's a lot of pressure. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism, but she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things, so sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important, like numbers. 
We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, oh, god damn it. I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that things boiled over. She led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad. That is history. That's both of them for today. Neato. Okay, so I'm guessing that's like a daily thing that we could do. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple of days. We shall hunt the stars. Okay, so we wrote in our journal twice today. So we got Sterling and Simone. Um, I think we also wrote something about Selma, a poet. So we did write about little old Selma. Right, come on, May. Let's go visit someone. I think we will visit B today. We hung, we hung out with uh, Greg in the last part, so I'm thinking we should choose B today. We aren't gonna go down there because we've kind of done our exploring for today, so we're just gonna go to our actual like place. Right. Here we go, the good old pickaxe. Hello, who are you? Hey dude, hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know, it pays. I like refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey B, how's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me, unsuccessfully, thus far at least. <laughs> well, what's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid half -est play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired because everything about my life is exhausting and I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm only one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You think, but also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from this store and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are you doing this? Yeah, let's just hang out. Let's just do it. Hi B. Hi May. Hi Jem. Hey dude. Jem is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Hopefully we won't be stealing any groceries. <gasps> she has a cigarette in her mouth. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kind of nails. <laughs> He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Isn't he like a crow? Okay, so we got dinner at bees. This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food. You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out? I'm just here to grab something for dinner for dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides. What counts as a main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, dad's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Ah, I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. Okay. What's Tash? GB. No, I don't want any of those. Mac and cheese, tasty taters. Oh, mashed potato or tater tots. I'm gonna go for taters. Yes. Mmm boy, delicious. I do love mashed potato though. Quick skits, cream greens. Ew, no, neither of those. 
disgusting. Hmm. Should I get a bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. No. I don't even know what bakey shaky is. Is that it? Is that our options? I can't go for more mash. Right, then I guess we'll go for... What was the other thing that we could go for? No, I don't want biscuits. Let's go for like beans or peas or whatever those were. Mm, go for this. Greeny beanies. Mm, no. What are these? No. No, 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 no. What's this? Cream of chicken soup. Oh, yeah. Delish. Got them. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> I seriously, I have to. You said two sides. I got two sides. Girl can't count. Right, let's go for quick skits. Mm, biscuits. Yes. Ooh la la. Is that it? Why are biscuits in the cool bit? What the hell is wrong with this shopping place? My dad works at the deli. We could go there for meats. Okay. Where's the deli? I don't know where the deli is. Also, my dog is barking. Oh, here's the deli. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. <laughs> Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. Did that say? Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, called a greeter. I knew I recognised him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Pork chops, one of your best fishes, ground beef, or chicken. We've already got chicken soup. So let's go for fish. Whatever's good. Dinner for three people. Not too pricey. Can do. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? No. Wait, Dad. I changed my mind. Oh, wait. No, I... I... Yeah, I want to go for fishes. There we go. Yes, you do. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. Our grill is up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah, okay, let's get our meat. Coming right up. Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, ladies, let's see what you all got. Mm. Well, that's interesting interesting maybe i'm just behind the times good luck all right thanks mr porowski tell your dad i say hello see you later dad night ladies i did pick some very bizarre stuff that would never go together however i just chose anything that i like that was fun yep groceries really makes you appreciate life your sarcasm is invalid shopping is fun she really looks impressed Woohoo! Oh my goodness. I love how blunt she is about everything. It's like one of my favorite things. She always has a cigarette in her mouth. Dinner time. Um, yeah? What? <laughs> Do you want me to order pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. All right. Oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll live, I think. <laughs> I think I might actually be a little ill. I thought you like fish is good. Chicken is good. Not like this. Oh. <laughs> if you go to Admiral Fry's and order number seven, it's chicken and fish. Yeah, but they're separate and fried. <laughs> Did you like it? No, I agree. It's, it is very terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Completely ruined dinner there. So yeah, we're all paid up until 15th next month. All right. That rock's not salted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know, look at them both side-eyeing me. I'm just trying to watch TV and they're both just like side-eyeing me. I need you to sign some things. Left them on the bar. I th think I might just go get them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but 
I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Awkward. Ugh, dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's playing tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. L he's still watching me. Come on, May. Why isn't she going? Oh, there we go. We can talk to her. Smelters, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh. What's not to like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice skates and beating the living crap out of each other. Eeh. Can't get excited about a puck. But it's like expected that someone is going to be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Okay, I cannot talk to a man who does not like hockey. Personally, I love ice hockey, so... Did you guys move in? 10 months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Is she moving away too? Pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, it was my mum's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mum was into them. They were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good and bad days. Often in the same day. Greg's always been like that too. Just more zany about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having years long breakdown. You run the whole store right now. More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name and everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I would probably just quit. I think you're selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you not doing anything about it just reinforces. This is really the road you want to go down with this? Um, take it. Take it. You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Okay. Definitely wasn't the right path. Here's some reality for you. You know Creek, repair guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? You, yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people, and even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything, and Creek's got a family, and he needs the work. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook. Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. Badass. My mum dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. You are such a shithead, you know that? A lot of time, folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times, people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You can always choose... Ah, oh, these are not what I would say. Honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? You can leave, I don't know. Tell your dad you're not gonna take this? Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here, start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for for advice. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around, messing with people, and taking whatever you want, while the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. 
You should. Uh oh. That's not really the way I had planned that conversation to go. We aren't gonna wake him up. We're just gonna leave. That's definitely not how I intended this evening to go. Now I feel really bad. Let's have a chat. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the ham panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. All right, let's go to bed. Today was a stressful day. I mean, more stressful for B than me. <sighs> She's probably not gonna have messaged us. Maybe we should have hung out with Greg instead. I mean, probably wouldn't have gone down like that. Oh, she has messaged us. Hey B, you there? Oh, we messaged her. I uh, know she didn't reply. Oh, she is here. Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up. I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. What you up to? Nothing. Kind of bummed tonight. Why? No reason. Just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no, about what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. Same. Literally B. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright dude, I'm crashing out for the day. See you duda. <laughs> Let's just press charcoal for good luck. And then we are going to head to bed. I'm fairly sure there'll probably be a dream sequence. So we'll try and get that done. Because this part's been pretty intense, you could say. There we go. Off to sleep. Is there going to be a dream sequence? Yes, there is. Oh, no. It's like a storm going on. Oh, there's one up there. I think... This is making me dizzy, man. Are there any others? Okay, there's one here. So we got that one. I'm guessing there's gonna be another this way again. So let's see. I really like these dream sequences. The colours of them and everything are really freaking cool. Like, this game is gorgeous. And it's weird how you relate to the different, like, parts of it, I guess. So we got one. Lights pointing up there, so it's defo up there. Oh no, shoot! I didn't mean to fall off. I thought he was just gonna meet it like on a hill. Clearly not. back down to the bottom. Frick, there's one right there. I can see the light coming from it. 
These puzzles, man. <laughs> they're difficult. They are difficult. Especially when they're so dark that you can barely see anything. the last one though. Why you gotta play me like this game? I found the last one guys. Here's the shock. I had to look at someone else's video for it. <laughs> but I found it. It's at the very top. I would never come up here. I don't even think I saw that. So there we go. I think we've got all four of them now. So we're gonna hop back down and hopefully. Hopefully that's all of it. So we're just gonna jump back down. And I think that's all the lights as well. So let's jump back down here. There we go. We completed that dream sequence. What animal are we gonna get today? What's it gonna be? Oh. It's a giant bee! Uh, the alligator swallowed us whole. I mean, it's a very odd choice of uh, animals to be friends with one another. You have a fox, a cat, a bear, and an alligator, which just seems a little bit bizarre to me. It's a little bit weird. But there we go, we finished our dream. So I'm gonna end this part here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.